there, he's GP. He's Dr. Brain. And this is Magic Science. Ready for some cool magic, GP? I'm always ready for some cool magic, Dr. Brain. Me too, it's a bit hot in here, isn't it? <gasps> yes, oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got some water here, but it, oh, it's a bit room temperature though. Would you like me to cool it down for you? Yes, please, Dr. Brain. <laughs> but if I bring out this lovely, cool picture of ice, does that fool you? No, Dr. Brain. No, I didn't think it would. But how about now? No, Dr. Brain. What? Ah! Dr. Brain looks turned into ice! <laughs> you see, it's magic! <laughs> or is it just magic science? <laughs> ice, so very happy about that trick. You want to see how I did it? Follow me. The water that I froze was, in fact, a solution of sodium acetate which can be made from vinegar and baking soda, but I bought mine pre-made from the internet. You need to heat them up with a bit of water and then cool in the fridge for 20 minutes. But you need an adult to help. On the back of my ice cube picture, I taped a pen lid containing more crystals of solid sodium acetate. When GP was distracted, I turned the card over and dropped the crystals into the liquid and shazam! It looks like the water is turning to ice, but it's actually crystallizing. And it's not cold at all. It gives off heat, which is why this chemical is used in reusable hand warmers. Brilliant chemical reaction. <laughs> See you next time for more magic, magic science. science. All right, dead GP. Oh, oh, what's happened, Dr. Brain? I went to Mars and back. It was incredible. Oh, wow. Could you take me next time? No, we haven't got a passport, mate. <gasps> <laughs> Wap, 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 wap,